Canada. Our friends, the war declared by the Russian Federation has been going on in Ukraine for four days. The war against Ukraine has been waging the ninth year. But now almost all cities of our states are on fire. Russia dishonorably shells not only military infrastructure, but also peaceful cities, peaceful civilians. Kyiv region, Kyiv Oblast, where I am now, hold on bravely. People are sitting in basements, people are hiding in their homes, as not to be killed by enemy insidious bombardment. And also people go to the streets to protect their families, to protect their country. Heavy fightings continued near the capital, in Bucha, Warsaw and Irpin. The occupiers hit into residential, the residential buildings. An oil depot in the town of Vasilkiv set on fire as a result of an attack by the Russian army. This is a huge industrial disaster. And this is the reality in our country right now. Moreover, Putin intimidates with a nuclear strike. He ordered to alert deterrent forces. That means the use of nuclear weapon. This is a crime against humanity. So the war concerns not only Ukraine, but the whole world. Because it's being the war for the right of choosing the path of development freely. The war for democracy. The war for sovereignty and sovereignly, or sovereignly not only Ukrainian. Thinking about the future, we want to see a free, prosperous, friendly world. And Ukraine must be a part of it. But now our hopes for this are under threat. The war is aimed at destroying Ukraine as a state. But Ukraine has already taken place as a state. And Putin will not change that. We will defend our common home yard by yard. Canada, please stay with us. Glory to Ukraine. Slava Ukraini.